and welcome to the 16th episode of Miss Tate's Email Teacher. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the brush tools or effects to create a web background. Now, as you can see, I've quickly summed one up in, say, a few minutes, five, ten minutes, um, to create this. Each brush is separate. This is a separate brush, so is this and so is the grass at the bottom. So I'm going to exit out of this, I'm not going to save it, I'm just going to start from scratch and attempt to remake that attempt to remake it, um, the one you've just seen. So I'm going to copy the background, delete the original background layer get the gradient overlay on and I'm going to go ahead and select my blue OK and now I'm going to go to the brush tool and I'm going to go ahead and I've already got it set to the amount of pixels I want and sorry undo that brush and then create a new layer add in the brush tool then go to the one directly across from that I think it's this one, not too sure um, see if I can see it. Might be this one. Set the pixels to 1000. Yeah, it's this one. And just insert that one. Then I'm going to get my grass effect and I'm simply going to push it down just directly at the bottom. Overlay it a bit there and insert my grass effect there. Then I'm simply going to go to the rounded rectangle tool, create a new layer, and insert. Now, obviously, you can go over it and then change the opacity to whatever you feel you want it to be changed to so it can be seen through. Um, you can change it to that so it's seen through, or you can simply do that and then set the opacity back to a hundred percent and there's basically your web background. I'm going to do in the second tutorial a bit more in depth of using these brush tools and um, that's going to be second tutorial tonight um, so thanks for watching and I'll post up another one in a few minutes